Now it's for real. The tactics and squad strengths have all been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. There's only one place to enjoy the action, and it's right here with us on EA TV. And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Rodri plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And providing the main goal-scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Foden. And Bernardo Silva has it. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. John McGinn plays alongside Douglas Luiz in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. Rodri. Ollie Watkins. Can they forge ahead? That was going in. Another block. Played over. That's fine goalkeeping to hold on to the corner. Holland. Jeremy Doku. And it might be. And saved by the keeper. Put in by De Bruyne. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Stones. Now with Silva. Oh, they have it again. Douglas Luis. And it took a touch off the defender, so it will be a corner. Well, the short corner routine. Just the challenge that was required. Vardiol. Walker now. Diaz. Rodri. On to Silva. It's a promising City move. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper.
Stones. Well, it's been all City in the last 15 minutes or so. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'll be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third now. Chance to do damage. In it goes! The opening goal in this contest. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So, back in action. Will there be a quick response from City? There needs to be. Stones. De Bruyne now. Walker. Phil Foden. Ruben Dias. Bernardo Silva. An important interception. John McGinn. Watkins for well, using the space really well but now can they push on Ruben Dias Rodri Holland still behind but the pressure mounting Holland Keep plugging away. De Bruyne. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. This attack looks highly promising. Foden. Takes the shot. He's blocked it. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. De Bruyne, on to Holland, and the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Alex Moreno. On to Moreno. And there we have it. That brings to an end the first half here at the Etihad. Well, Erling Haaland not nearly as influential as we've come to expect, Stuart. Yeah, I've been really disappointed with him today, Derek. He just hasn't looked himself. But I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service, has he? The ball is moving again. City trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Foden. And just blotting out the danger. Leon Bailey. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Real chance. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped?
Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, who would be a manager? You can just sense the frustration on Pep Guardiola's face, can't you? So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Stones. On the ball, Ruben Dias. Bit wasteful from City. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Alex Moreno. Excellent refereeing. Happy Advantage in operation. Walker celebrating his birthday today. Who can he pick out? Is it going to be in position and collected tidily? He had plenty to think about. Foden. Oh, fancy footwork. Genuine chance. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. Well, the action underway again. Can City go hunting for an equaliser now? 30 minutes to go then. Bailey. And now with McGinn. Cash. Leon Bailey. On to McGinn. On the offensive. But really sticking to their task defensively. Really took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. Well, as you can see, Villa are seeing much less of the ball, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. Stones. Bernardo Silva. Foden. Well, they keep passing away. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Ruben Dias. Ronaldo Silva. De Bruyne. On to Silva. De Bruyne. De Bruyne, the cross is on. Well, they're behind, but they might be onto something here. Oh, a goal! Level now! The lead has evaporated! Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, he knows this is going to be a tough game now. He's got to get his side playing again here. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Leon Bailey, promising attack this. And a chance to whip it in here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. 
And Manchester City will go to their bench. <laughs> Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, it was a crowded penalty area, but the keeper's done well to hold on to that. Well, danger here as he runs at them. A good and fair challenge. Ramsey. On the ball, Zaniolo. So much focus within the team and completely focused on winning the game now. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Cash. Well, good effective pressure. Bernardo Silva sliding it through. Brilliantly blocked. De Bruyne, can he put it away? He's blocked it! Rodri. And it's Ruben Dias. Stones. On to Silva. He gave it quite the whack, but not on target. And they will make the change now. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number five, John Stones, to be replaced by number 25, Manuel Akanji. mistake by the keeper and it's positive from Manchester City is it in the cards for them to score a late winner De Bruyne can they convert oh there it is incredible how about this for guts and courage can they see this out now Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3-2. Esri Konsa. On to McGinn. Well, there's the final whistle, and Manchester City have come out on top in this game. Your verdict? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, as is so often the case, Phil Foden did his talking out there on the pitch. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.